Good afternoon, Quadcopter 101 here. What I got for you today is a review of a new quadcopter, the 1505 Tarantula Spider. Now, as you can see, it's a breezy day today, and I'm flying this Tarantula Spider with its prop guards on. I didn't re realize it was going to be so windy today, or else I would have took these prop guards off. But we'll see how well it performs, even with prop guards on. Now, if you look at the Tarantula, it appears to be a clone of the Tarantula X6 from JJRC. Now, or, and Yeezy and also, I guess those are the same company, really, <laughs> just the same quadcopter. But this quadcopter, I don't believe, comes from um, JJRC, or I think it's just a clone in shape only. Um, as you can see, it's a lot smaller than the original Tarantula. Uh, it is a crony class, what I call, something between a micro and a mini class. Um, but other than that, it's your basic quadcopter. It has, uh, you can change different rates. Uh, I believe it has beginner, intermediate, expert. You can turn off the lights on the quadcopter by this button here on the controller. It has headless mode and one key return, which you activate by pressing this button here for headless mode once and holding it down for one second for one key return. And it does flips by pressing this button here and then telling the pitch roll stick which direction you'd like it to flip. Now there also is a camera version supposedly for this quadcopter. If you look, it has a camera power port and control port right there. Um, but this version does not come with, a, or the one that I got here did not come with a camera. But if you get the camera version, you can turn on the video by pushing down on this button here. And you can turn on the camera by pressing up there. But other than that is a basic quadcopter. And we'll give it a shot and let's see how it performs on a breezy day out here in the desert. Hope you enjoy this flight. It has an on-off switch, which I like. Oh, one other thing. It takes, uh, it comes with a 300 milliamp hour uh, white uh, connector battery. You can fit your standard uh, micro quadcopter batteries in here up to about 380 milliamp hour. There's plenty of room in that uh, battery bay for uh, larger batteries. See this one here is, this is the battery that comes with it and it's sitting in there at an oblong uh, direction. <laughs> so diagonal direction so you can fit bigger batteries in there is what I'm saying uh, I don't think it will fit though a 500 milliamp right although I have not tried it okay turning on the quadcopter and turning on the transmitter binding it to the quadcopter we should be good to go because of the wind I'm going right to a higher rate I'll go to intermediate we'll start off with intermediate oh man that's smooth feels so smooth take off oh yeah let's go to higher rate again we got the wind today let the wind blow it back to us this is the wind this is the yaw rate <laughs> but it can fight that wind now this supposedly has a hundred meters let me go to uh, intermediate 100 meters range. Let's send it up upwind and see if it actually can go out to 100 meters. Although I have not checked what would happen. <laughs> Let's bring it down real quick. <laughs> Bringing it down. The reason I want to do that is I don't know what happens if uh, we it goes out of range. Let's find out. Landing it. Giving it a little throttle. Turning off the transmitter. That's a one, okay, that's good. So hopefully it'll come back into range, the wind will blow it back into range if we go out of range. Okay, starting off again in intermediate. Wait a minute, the battery door came open. <laughs> I didn't put it, I didn't close that battery door properly. Hold on folks. Okay, battery door is closed. Going back up again. And this time, let's go upwind and see how, what kind of range we can get. Send it up higher, too, so we'll give a, have some time to try to let it pop back into range. Again, it's claimed 100 meters with this. It takes six batteries, so it should be pretty darn good. I'm about 70 right now. Going higher and further out. And I'd say I'm about 100 meters. So they're not lying about the range. It's getting really hard to see up there. Okay, bringing it down. Cutting throttle. Boy, it doesn't want to come down. It's it's a glider almost. <laughs> it's very, um, what's the word? Um, aerodynamic. But, okay, 
Um, for the remainder of the flight, again, I'm an intermediate right now. It's very maneuverable at intermediate. Let's see if I can bring it in close so you can see that. The problem is, is the wind. But, okay, we have demonstrated headless mode and one key return, going upwind. Try the head, one key return, pressing and holding the button on. And I think it's flying backwards. Is it in headless mode? No, it's, let's bring it down and put it in headless mode and see if you need to be in headless mode first. Okay, pointing in that direction. Headless mode, activate it. Is it headless mode? Yes, it is. See, I'm giving it uh, full pitch or full yaw. And the reason I'm doing that is to show that right now, let's give it a little more throttle too, I can control strictly with pitch and roll stick. I don't have to worry which direction it's pointed in. And let's go over this way a bit and hit that one key return and see what happens. Okay, it thinks that way was the headless mode direction. Okay, let's bring it back down. So what I'm saying was it thought that way was the um, original bearing. Let's go up that way then. Press the one key return. And it kind of flies back. <laughs> so, overall thoughts on this. Um, first off, I wish I didn't put on the prop guards because I got a feeling this thing is pretty damn maneuverable without those prop guards. Unfortunately, they're screwed on. Um, each one takes one screw, and I don't have a screwdriver with me to take them off to try it without the prop guards. But it's very, very smooth. Very stable. Even in this little breeze that I got here today. I kind of like it. Okay, the flips. Let's try the flips if we got power for flips. It flips. Going upwind again. So yeah, windy day flyer even with prop guards on. <laughs> kind of like it. And I believe it's pretty darn inexpensive too. Being a crony, I keep I keep going too far away for you folks. I'm sorry about that. But nice smooth flyer. Crabbing in the wind. Nice day out here in the desert, huh? You know, I feel bad for you guys back east. You got that snow and cold, ice cold, but here in sunny California, I out in the desert. This is the great time of year to be out here in the desert. Actually, spring is the actually the very best when the wildflowers are in bloom. But even in the winter, it's it's mild, you know. Um, summertime is another story, you know. You know, it's gonna be hot as heck out here. It is the desert, but that's only for about three months. The rest of the year, it's very very nice to live out here. Okay, let's try that higher rate again. Going back up to high rate. I want to see what the funnels are like. Weird ass funnel, or sorry folks, <laughs> weird funnels. <laughs> Come on, you can fight that wind. Yeah. Oh, its lights are blinking now, so we're getting close to the end of the flight time. I'm going to keep it real close now. Yeah, that wind is picking up too. But it still can fly in it. Getting sluggish now. And that's it. So that's the flight time you get with it. And the battery door popped open again because I didn't put the wire in good. Wait a minute. There. So all in all, what do I think of it? Well, it could fly in the wind even with prop guards, but I'm sure if I took them off, it would have been a lot uh, more maneuverable flying there. Um, all in all, I kind of like this quadcopter. Uh, it's, uh, again, a crony, uh, micro mini. 
Um, it does have lights that appear to be, this could be a good night flyer. I'll give it a shot tonight if the wind, if it's not too windy and try that out also. But overall, yeah, especially for the price. What was the price on this? I think the current going price was about $25 with free shipping. So this could be a great little beginner's quadcopter. Very smooth and beginner's right, but uh, put an intermediate and expert and becomes very maneuverable. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this flight. It's Quadcopter 101, signing out. Hi, Quadcopter 101 here uh, with the Tarantula 1505 one more time. This time I've taken off the prop guards. As you can see, it is still breezy out here in the desert. Let's see what the tarantula does without the prop guards and how well it uh, fights the wind um, without the prop guards. Turning on the quadcopter, pointing it in that direction, binding the transmitter. And I'd say the wind's about five to 10 knots. Wind to higher rate and expert rate. And a way upwind. And this is the wind, by the way, folks. Wow, it's going in that direction. Okay, if that's the case, then let's send it upwind that way. Okay, let's try that uh, headless mode on this thing again. Uh, which button is headless mode? This one. There we go. And maybe better come out of headless mode. That didn't seem to be the headless mode direction. But yeah, it can fight the wind. This wind is pretty strong today. It's really strong. Let's put it that way, folks. Um, I was going to fly these little um, RC airplanes today. <laughs> Ain't going to happen today. I have these, uh, you know, RC or FX 805 and FX 807. But with the wind this strong, I think I'm in headless mode. No, I'm not. Okay, that was just crabbing with that wind. <laughs> this wind is not to show this thing. This wind is real strong today, folks. Okay, I got my hands off the stick and it's automatically crabbing into the wind. That is strange. Does that, is it designed to do that? Let's turn to the right. Look at that. And it's still crabbing into the wind. Let me get under this thing. Okay, it stopped doing it. I think the accelerometers on this thing automatically compensate for the wind. Um, there's only been one other quadcopter I've seen that was designed that way or actually acted that way. Look at that. Turning to the left, the door came open for a second. Hold on, let me land it, but I'll show you what I'm talking about. This is pretty cool. This automatically compensates for the wind. Attempting to hold the quadcopter and crabbing into the wind automatically. And the only other quadcopter, toy quadcopter, that I've seen that had that capability. Hold on a second, folks. Let me close that door real good. The only other quadcopter I've seen that had that capability was the Space Predator. I don't know if, how many of you remember the Space Predator but it was a little micro quadcopter that actually could automatically compensate for the wind. And this, this apparently seems to have the same design feature, see? Ron, why is that doing that? A door. I'm not, obviously not closing the door properly. But there we go. Let's try it one more time. No matter I'm pointed that way, it builds up a wind drift to fight this wind. It knows where the wind's coming from, and it automatically does it. Let's 
So in effect, you can fly this in the wind. It takes a little skill to fly in the wind. I'm not saying it doesn't take no skill, but it makes it a little bit easier. See how it's crabbing sideways into the wind? automatically crabbing even though look at that I'm not trying to fight this wind this should be flying backwards <laughs> with that wind but it's not let me demonstrate that again I'm just gonna throw yaw onto the quadcopter and the quadcopter is gonna hold its position look at that this wind is really blowing this way and it's automatically crabbing into the wind trying to prevent the wind from blowing it backwards that is cool. I wasn't in headless mode, folks. I am not in headless mode. Let's just demonstrate that one more time. Hold on. I am not in headless mode. This thing should be flying past me with this wind, but it's not. It's automatically crapping into the wind. That is interesting and cool. Actually, let's do that again. Take it right there. Throwing you on. Look, all I got is yaw and some throttle. And the wind is blowing real strong behind me. And it's fighting that. That is interesting. Again, the only other quadcopter I've seen that had that capability was the old Space Predator. And Space Predator could do this real well. But this one's even better, actually, I think. Those crows up there, the ravens up there trying to fight this wind. You ain't gonna fight as well as this car, Dr. Kid. Uh, that's cool. <laughs> Neat. Let's bring it in close and do that. Like that wind. coming that way. So very interesting. Very, very interesting. Look at that. Understand what I'm saying, folks? Okay, it's starting to, the lights are starting to flash, but just want to demonstrate that. And that's based on the accelerometers of the quadcopter. The accelerometers of the quadcopter are automatically compensating. They sense the wind trying to push it back and, in effect, uh, fight that wind automatically. My battery's about to die here. You can hear that wind in my uh, camera. I'm pretty sure you can. <laughs> but neat capability. Okay, there we go. That's the flight time. That door probably popped open again with that. Yeah, sure did. <laughs> so, pretty neat. Pretty neat capability. I've never seen that. Well, actually, I don't even think the Space Predator could do that. But uh, that's, that's pretty neat, the way that automatically senses the uh, wind coming and then automatically compensates for that wind and fights it for you. That's neat. Okay, again, that's the Space Predator 1505. Hope you enjoyed this flight. Quadcopter 101. Signing out. Night flying with a Tarantula 1505. Pretty uh, well lit quadcopter. Hope you enjoy the flight. I'll notice the red lights in the front of this thing. First off, I want to show you it's. Pretty darn stable. 
at that throttle. It's a little bit touchy. But again, it has really good range. <laughs> that was medium. No, I guess that was expert. <laughs> Beginners right now. Flying around beginners right. Intermediate. This is intermediate right yaw. Expert. So it has pretty wild yaw rate on it. I got in to show you. Ooh. And again, that has a little twitchy throttle on it. Got a good range on it though. Let's go to expert. <laughs> right to beginner. And then intermediate. To bring it back down, you gotta go to intermediate. Okay, I think that's enough to show you what it can do. Let's bring it in. And that's the Tarantula 1505. Hope you enjoyed the flight. Quadcopter 101, signing out.